Hey guys, how are you? It's been a few days since I did a vlog. So this vlog is about the long-term implications or long-term strategy or what you can expect in maintaining an app. You don't hear that too much, I think, on the vlogs out there, at least from what I've seen, and perhaps because a lot of developers don't support a product long-term. So I've done this a few times, and there's one thing when you create a product and put it out there. There's another thing to keep the product alive. I'm talking about software, I'm talking about apps. Keeping it alive, developing it, uh, refining it based on user interaction. I think that's the key point to this. When you deploy your app for the first time, your version one, if you will, you have to recognize that this is likely uh, just the beginning of the development cycle. You're going to find that as users interact with your app, there's going to be a lot of changes that are going to have to be made. And so as developers, you have to be uh, open-minded to the input that you get from people actually using your app. And you'll see that if you are open-minded uh, and not defensive about it and willing to work with users, you'll see that the app will improve exceptionally over time. So case in point, most recent case in point for me, is Studio Web. And the first prototype was built about seven years ago, six, seven years ago. Over that period of time, since it was first deployed and used by the first couple of schools, many, many, many updates and changes have been made, quite a bit in fact. And it's quite different from the original app in many respects. The core of it is the same. Uh, we got a lot of things right initially. But we've had to gut and replace and update and remove, I don't know, you could say maybe as much as 40% of the app. It depends how you want to look at it. It's gotten to the point now where it's at Studio Web 3.1 is about to be released. And as a result of what I want to do, where I want to take the app going forward, we're going to be, well, it's already been started, we're doing a rewrite from scratch to be able to take advantage of new technologies that are coming out or, or have come out since the uh, inception of the first app. So we're doing a rewrite from scratch, and that's something you want to do very often, but after seven years, I think it's time. Right down to the database design. Now, don't get me wrong, we're going to be leveraging a huge part of what we have in Studio Web 3, but the Studio Web 4 branch is a massive, uh, it's, it's a rewrite from scratch. So we're going to be taking what we've learned in the last seven years, incorporating that uh, into the new architecture in Studio Web 4. And we're actually, we're actually quite excited to get going on that. We are, the database, initial database designs have been made. And uh, we're going to be continuing from there over the next several months. I'm not sure, I was thinking of doing an ongoing vlog about that. I don't know, we'll see how, you know, how things go, time permitting and so forth, whether or not I'm able to do that, we shall see. At any rate, uh, that's about it for this vlog. We'll talk soon.